Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain how to pass variable number of arguments in a function. So in Lua, we can pass a variable number of arguments in a function. So let's take one example. Let's create a function and uh, this function objective is to add all the parameters which are passed in this function. So let's name it add. Here, how many, how many parameters we need to take? Because we don't know the number exactly. So here, for that special case, we will write three dots. The meaning of three dots are the number of arguments are variable. Now, in this function, first of all, we need to extract past parameter in a variable. So here we are going to use a local variable. Let's take arg, and here you have to use curly braces. So the meaning of this line is that whatever parameter are passed in order to call this function, those all parameter will be saved in variable arg. Now next thing uh, we need to add them. So for the result, we are going to take it variable result and we will assign the value 0. Now we need to iterate over this variable because this variable will be having a number of arguments. So for iteration we are going to use for loop and in for loop we are having a special function i pairs. So here what we need to write for i v so this will iterate over this variable so i will represent the index and v will represent the value for every element in this arg and then we need to write i pairs arg the meaning of i pairs arg uh, actually it will iterate over all the element of this one and during that iteration, index will be stored in i, value will be stored in v. So now we are interested in only value part. So what we are going to do, we will add this v value in wizard. That's it. Uh, uh, here the definition of our for loop is finished. So we have written here and at that end we will print the result. Uh, sorry, here uh, we need to close this function as well. So the function also closed, and at the end, we will check whether our function is working perfectly or not. So we will call this function by passing some argument, any number of argument. So let's see the output. So for the output, open your terminal. So this file uh, actually saved on desktop. So I need to move to desktop and need to write Lua name of the file. So uh, it's not printing anything. So uh, if you can see here, we actually forgot here to return this value result. So right here, return result. Now again, done. So here you can see it's printing the total. So in this way, you can pass any number of argument in function in Lua programming language. Thank you very much for watching.